Come on, Gordon. You can do it. You got to lose a thousand pounds. You can do anything you set your mind to. Whoa! Oh, oh, no. Wow, way to go, Gordon. You fell on your face yet again. I'm sorry. I'm trying. It's really hard. You don't have what it takes to do this, dude. No, I do. I want to lose a thousand pounds. You don't know what it's like being like this. I'm unhappy. Yeah, I definitely don't know what it's like. I'm pretty happy, but I'm not happy with your performance. Well, I I'm sorry. I'll get better. You can't expect me to be like an Olympian right away. Listen, man, I really don't have time to waste on you. I'm a very busy personal trainer. I have to let you go. You're just going to walk out on me? Ja, dude, good luck with your goals or whatever. Fine. I don't need anyone to believe in me. I'm going to believe in myself. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I've lost so much weight. Whoa, I can't believe you did this. It's crazy. I can do anything that I put my mind to. Well, dude, you're still kind of tubby. You need to keep going. Whatever, I don't have to listen to you. I did this on my own and I'm excited to keep going. Oh my gosh, did I get robbed? Where's all my stuff? Hey, you, where's the big fat guy that lived here? I think you're talking about me and that's very rude. Gordon, is that you? You've lost a little weight, huh? Yeah, I've been working really hard. Uh, what is going on here, man? Well, if you can't tell, you've been evicted. But why? I've been paying my bills, haven't I? Yeah, but you're a fat liability. My insurance went up because of you. Well, I'm sorry, but you rented me the apartment, and you can't just kick me out. Listen, if you want to stay, the rent's going to be 4,000 Robux a month. 4,000 Robux a month? Dude, I don't even make that in a month. Wow, you're really poor, huh? Well, even if I did, this place isn't worth it. This place is kind of terrible. This is a prime location. Real estate prices are going up here. If you can't pay it, get out. Yeah, thanks for nothing, dude. Oh, man, I don't know what to do. I don't know where else I can go. I really hate to do this, but I think I'm going to have to go maybe stay with my dad. Oh, look at this. My fat loser son crawling back to me for help. Insulting me is not going to do anything, dad. So what do you want? Money? No, I just need a place to stay. I know you don't have any money. What, you're going to insult me now? Come in and say that I'm poor? Well, dad, you don't really work all that often. Shut up. You're a worthless loser. You know that? Dad, I'm just asking you for help. You don't have to be so mean. Yeah, whatever. Please, I just need to stay here until I can get a new apartment. Fine, but you're paying me rent. All right, well, how much? Mm, 2,500 Robux. Dad, you don't even make that in a month. Yeah, I know. This is a good opportunity for me. But how am I supposed to save to get an apartment? I don't know. It doesn't seem like it's my problem. All I know is if I catch you eating my food, I'm going to slap you. Dad, I'll get my own food. Yeah, well, I know you. You're over there eating all the time, laying around like a lazy loser. I'm not a lazy loser, Dad. I've already lost 500 pounds. And stop judging me and my decisions, okay? Well, that's what I'm supposed to do. I'm your dad. That's not what dads are supposed to do. You're supposed to be supportive. Well, I am supporting you, ain't I? I'm supporting a roof over your head. 2,500 Robux, you can go sleep on the streets. Fine, I, I guess I can get a second job or something. Good, nice to not see you be so lazy. Huh. Coming from the guy that barely works. You know, whatever, all right? Why don't you clean my house as a thank you for me letting you stay here? Uh, no, I have to go try to find a second job now. Yeah, Bryce, this is absolutely going to be incredible. The Iron Blocks competition. Probably going to win. Yeah, I heard of that competition. It's insane. You got to run a marathon and then swim like 50 miles to an island, dude. Whoa, this competition sounds really cool. What are you guys talking about? This competition's not for fatties, Gordon. This is the Iron Blocks competition. Chai, you got to be in some serious shape for it, dude. Well, I bet I could do it. If, if I put my mind to it, I definitely could. Yeah, right, dude. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, Tubbo thinks he can actually run a marathon instead of just walking to the fridge this is hilarious hey why don't you shut your mouth okay you can't talk to people like that i'm a person yeah whatever dude you're not one person you're more like three i'm gonna win that big prize at the end yeah 500 000 robux oh my gosh i could do so much with that money yeah anybody could dude well i'm gonna win this thing you'll see i'm gonna show you all <laughs> i doubt it 
<sighs> Man, I don't know. I'm kind of worried. I'm not the best swimmer. Never have been. But I gotta try anyway. Here goes nothing. Oh, it's cold. It's cold. It's cold. Oh, gosh, gosh. Oh, man. I'm really slow at this. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this on my own. But I got an idea. Hey, Ian, are you busy? Hey, Gordon. How's it going, man? Ian, thanks for showing up. I really appreciate it. Yeah, of course. Need some help training for the Iron Blocks competition? Yeah, well, I know that you used to be a professional swimmer, so I figured you could help me out. Absolutely. Man, it's time to get to work. Feeling a little self-conscious. I mean, I know I'm not in the best shape. What are you talking about? You've already lost 500 pounds, man. Yeah, I know, but the guys at the office were so mean to me. I don't know why people treat me like I'm not a human being. Because some people don't respect others, that's all. But you're already making so much progress. You should be proud of the body that you have and who you are as a person. Yeah, you're right, man. Plus, I want to prove these guys wrong. Let's get after it. Oh, gosh. After two jobs, I got to come home and deal with this guy. You late. Late for what? You just home late. Yeah, that's because I had to work two jobs, dad, so I could pay you the rent. Yeah, well, who was supposed to make me dinner? Who was supposed to buy it? Uh, I don't know, you? Mm, wrong! You were! No, Dad, I'm not gonna come in here and take care of you, too. I'm already paying you money. It's one or the other. You're telling me you can't get dinner for your own father? A couple of pizzas would have been nice. Yeah, it would have, but you could have picked up the phone and ordered it. And paid for it with what money? Can't believe you. You're such a disgrace, you know that? I'm out here busting my butt trying to do the best that I can, and you're sitting inside all day watching TV? You've always been useless. I don't need this. Fine, I'm leaving. Whatever. Where you going now? You don't have any friends. Yeah, I have lots of friends, Dad, and I'm going to the pool to train. What a waste of time. We know you ain't gonna lose any more weight. Yes, I am, Dad. I'm doing this for me. I don't care what anyone else has to say about it. Just like everything else you've ever done, you're gonna give up halfway through, and you're gonna fail. I don't need to be around this attitude. You wanna talk about failure? Why don't you look in the mirror? Come on, Gordon, you've got this. Faster, faster, come on. Well, you're doing a whole lot better. You cut your time down by a couple seconds. Oh man, I need to get better, dude. I need to lose a little bit more weight too. I think that's what's holding me back. Dude, you just need to pump the brakes. You're doing a great job. Uh, I don't know. I know I can do better. <laughs> I thought whales move fast in the water. That was pathetic. Wow, Thad. Oh, a fat joke. That's really original, man. Dude, stop acting like a loser. Just leave him alone. Well, I came by to initially scout out the competition. Clearly, there isn't any. Why are you wasting your time coming down here? Shouldn't you be training? I wake up at 4 a.m. to train, you pathetic loser. That's funny, dude, because I wake up around the same time and I jog by your house every morning and your car's still in the driveway. I didn't know I had a fat stalker. Listen, man. Just get out of my way. Sometimes these guys just get into my head, you know? That's because you let them. Don't listen to these losers. I know, but what if he's right, man? What if I can't do it? I don't even want to hear you talking like this, dude. I want those thoughts out of your head. Yeah, you're right. Now, come on, get back in the pool. Let's go another lap. I can't believe you're late again, Gordon. Uh, I'm sorry. I, it, I was just running late for my other job. Yeah, you're putting a lot of things before this job. Uh, I'm sorry. I have to work both jobs to be able to afford what I'm doing. And I still have to train. Well, I'm obviously not your priority, so you're not mine anymore. Get out of here. Please, just give me another chance. No, you're fired. You're lazy and incompetent. Now get out of here. Oh, Gordon, you're home early or late. I can't remember because you have such a stupid schedule. Yeah, I'm home early, Dad. I lost my second job. I knew it. I knew you weren't going to be able to do it. Well, I was late because of my other job that I had to work. Don't you backtalk me. I know you better than anyone. And I know that you're never going to amount to anything. And as soon as you just give in to that, the happier your life is going to be. How could you say that to me? I'm your son. Yeah, well, I'm realistic. I mean, look at me. You think I'm out there winning the Olympic medals and becoming a millionaire? No, because I know who I am. But Dad, I want more than that for my life. Why don't you start? Stop living in a fairy tale land and go out there and work your job and come home and buy me pizza. But dad, I got dreams. Shut up and go and pick up the pizzas that I ordered. That's all I want to hear from you. I don't want to hear no more about these stupid dreams that you have. Oh, Ian. Sorry, man. I wasn't expecting you. Yeah, well, I was expecting you. Why didn't you show up? 
I'm not doing the competition anymore. I'm done. Dude, what? You're just gonna give up that easily? Yeah, because Gordon's useless and he's wasting your time and mine. Gordon is absolutely not useless. I don't know, Ian. I'm just in a bad place. I mean, I just lost my second job and now I gotta find another one and I don't know if I'm gonna have time. All I'm hearing is excuses from you, man. An obstacle comes in your way and you just give up. Just like he always does, crybaby Gordon. Shut up, Dad. You don't know what hard work is like. You've never done it a day in your life. But you do know what it's like, Gordon. You put in hard work every time you're training. Stop putting stupid ideas into my son's head. He needs to stay here and pay me the 2,500 Robux a month. That's how much you're paying? That's more than my whole place, dude. Well, I'm stuck. I got nowhere else to go, man. Yeah, because he can't stand on his own two feet. I have an extra bedroom in my place. Gordon, you're absolutely welcome to it if you want to stay with me. You really want this guy living with you? Come on. Absolutely, I do. If it's going to take him out of this awful environment. And you don't have to pay me any rent money, Gordon. Oh my gosh, yeah, dude. I'll pack my bags right now. What? No, no, no. You need to stay here and you need to pay me the rent money. No, I'm going with Ian, Dad. You're on your own. You're just going to abandon your family, huh? You know what, Dad? I'm tired of you. I'm tired of you always putting me down. You've never done anything with your life, and I'm not going to sit here and be miserable with you because you decided to be miserable. I'm doing something positive for myself. Now, either support me or get out of my way. Gordon, you have a strict schedule for your training now, but I think you can do it. Yeah, I know. I mean, I'm the one that came up with it. Are you sure you're going to commit to this? Because I'm going to push you. That's why I have you as my trainer, man. When I start thinking bad thoughts, I want you to yell at me until they come out of my head. Absolutely. Nothing but a positive mindset going forward. You got it? Yeah, I'm excited. All right, well, then let's get to work. Let's go. Oh my gosh, I officially lost a thousand pounds! Ha! <laughs> and you thought you couldn't do it. I just feel so happy. The thing I'm most grateful for is the change in my mindset. All of your hard work clearly paid off, dude. Look at this. I don't know how to thank you, man. You can thank me by winning that competition. Okay, ready, Gordon? This is just for qualifications now. Okay, I'm ready. Three, two, one. All right. Oh, wow, I'm really doing this. This feels so great. All right, Gordon. How did I do? Well, I'm not going to lie to you. It wasn't great. Oh, no. Come on. Please tell me I got in. You just barely made it. You just barely qualified for the competition. Yes, this is awesome. I, I promise I'll do better. Wow, I'm really surprised that you thought that was awesome. I mean, you barely made it. Yeah, but I made it, and that's the thing. I'll do so much better. You'll see. That was the absolute most pathetic display of athleticism I've ever seen. I don't really care what you have to say, Thad. Well, you can't stop me from saying it. You're an absolute waste of space. I'm not threatened by you, man. I lost a thousand pounds for this. I'm gonna win. There's no way on earth you're gonna beat me in this competition. I qualified in first place. Yeah, but I got one thing that you don't. Oh yeah, and what's that, a cheeseburger? No, I have a strong mind and a good heart. And that's all I need to get through this. Yeah, we'll see about that. Gordon, where's Gordon? Dad, you can't just barge into Ian's house like that. Whoa, look at you. You look different, huh? Yeah, Dad, I lost a bunch of weight. Yeah, yeah, good for you. Whatever. What are you doing here? Yeah, you know, I just thought maybe I'd come by and see if you wanted to come back home. No, I don't want to come back home. Why would I want to do that? I don't know, maybe because I'm your dad and you want to hang out with me? No, Dad, I got to stay here and train. I got the Iron Blocks competition coming up. I need to focus. Still going for this stupid thing, huh? You should be home with your family, watching TV and hanging out. You know what, Dad? I'm tired of you giving me the worst advice in in the world. I'm giving you the best advice in the world, all right? I know you're gonna fail, and I don't want to see you do it again. You might be one of the most toxic people I've ever met in my entire life. How dare you say that to me? Listen to yourself. You haven't said one positive thing to me ever my whole life. Yeah, so what? No one ever says anything positive to me. That's because your attitude is awful, Dad. Don't you see that? Hey, don't you raise your voice with me. No, I'm not scared of you. I'm not gonna let you come in here and bully me around just because you don't like yourself. What, do you think you're better than me now? I'm certainly happier than you. You're getting all these stupid ideas from your friends thinking that you're the greatest thing on earth. Well, let me tell you something. You're always gonna be a fat, 
stupid loser. I literally don't care about your opinion at all. But you should. I'm your dad. Well, I don't listen to people with bad attitudes. Now get out of my house. Yeah, fine. I'm leaving anyway. I'm tired of you. Oh, man, I'm feeling good after that workout. Dude, I just have to say, I am so proud of you. You absolutely killed it today. Thanks, man. And I'm not letting anyone get in my way. I'm so happy with the changes that I made in my life. Dude, just hearing you say that, like, pumps me up. Yeah, me too. We're definitely going to win this thing. We've got a big day of training tomorrow, and then it's the competition. Yeah, that sounds good. I'll be at the pool at 4 a.m. Ha, perfect. I'll see you there, man. Putting all your faith in a fat idiot like that is stupid. Dude, just shut up and leave him alone. Gordon knows what hard work and determination is, and he's going to win that competition. Luckily, I don't need any of that. I was born the best. Dude, you're pathetic. Would a pathetic person do this? Ow! Man, I've been waiting here for like two hours and Ian didn't show up? Yeah, your friend doesn't care about you anymore. What are you talking about? You don't know anything. I was at the gym last night and I heard your friend talking about you. He thinks you're a pathetic waste of time. No, he doesn't. He wouldn't say something like that. I heard him say it myself. He said you had no chance in the competition. And then he laughed. Well, if you don't want to believe me, that's fine. It's your choice to put your faith in someone that doesn't support you. Yeah, well, I put my faith in myself first, okay? And I support myself and that's the only thing that matters. Why don't you get that? You're not going to get under my skin. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. I'll see you at the competition. <laughs> oh, my phone. Hello? Oh, Ian. What? You're in the hospital? I'll be right there. I can't believe it. I can't believe he would do this. Dude, you've got to calm down. You're going crazy. I don't care, man. I, I can't let him do this to you. Come on, man. you got to stay grounded. You've got to do the right thing. There's only one way I can get back at him, and I have to win this competition. And you got to leave soon, dude. It's about to start. Hey, good luck. Winners don't need luck. All right, all right, everyone shut up. We're starting in three, two, one. Ooh, here we go. All right, come on. You can get through this. Look, the whale can actually run. <laughs> you're not going to beat me. Shut up. You're not going to get in my head. <sighs> Time for the swim. Oh, my leg, my leg. I think you got a cramp. This is my chance. Oh my gosh, I did it. I did it. Oh my God. We got the winner. His name is Gordon. Wow, I really did it. Oh, man. What did I get myself into? Oh, I'm so out of breath. Oh, you have to keep pushing. I got to get out of here. Come on. I have to get out. I have to get out. I have to. Oh. Oh, dude, look at you. You fell. Oh, my goodness. You are so fat and awful at this. Oh, shut up, Brett. Okay, I'm doing the best that I can. I want to be a firefighter just like everybody else. That's hard to believe with this performance, man. You're literally the last in performance in our class. Well, I'm doing the best that I can. There's nothing I can do about it. Yeah, well, you can quit. That's what you can do. Just give up, man. No, I don't want to quit. All right, boys, that's enough arguing. Brett, congratulations on a new course record. Ha, huh. thanks, Chief. That's what you get when you earn it. Roland, how you doing, pal? You okay? Yeah, I'm doing okay. Look, uh, I'm not trying to be mean or anything, but this is like the fourth time you've tried to pass this test and you failed every single time. If you want to be a firefighter, you're going to have to be able to pass this. You know that, right? Yeah, I know. I'm really trying. Yeah, yeah, I bet you're really trying. Look at you. You're so fat. You're such a loser, man. All right, that's enough out of you, Brett. Okay, I don't need to hear any more. Look, Chief, I'm really trying the best that I can. I know, but I think you need to be realistic. I mean, you can't pass the exam. Why is everyone so mean to me i'm so hungry after all that i've been so stressed out lately everybody's so mean well at least i'll be able to grab some food and go home and relax excuse me sir oh, oh my goodness look at you there tubby what look that was rude can i just have like a slice of pepperoni pizza and a salad salad oh man no way no way what do you want 400 large pizzas fast Hey, stop talking to me like that, okay? I'm just trying to be a paying customer. Oh, yeah, you look like you'd be the best customer in the world. Why don't you just get your paycheck directly deposited to over here so I can take all your money? <laughs> look, dude, I've had such an awful day. Why are you making fun of me? I don't deserve this. I'm a human being. You look kind of more like a walrus to me, man. <laughs> you know who I am, by the way? I'm you. 
Eunice! Well, you're the meanest person I've ever met in my life, Eunice. I don't know why you would treat me like this. Oh, okay. I'm so sorry about that, fat man. You know what? I don't need this. Yeah, well, I don't need you, dude. Why don't you get out of my store then? Fine, I will. You're the most awful person in the entire world. Ronald, everyone, got the best grade of the entire class. I can't believe it. Wow, seriously? Yeah, nobody even came close to beating you in the written exam. You're doing an incredible job. Wow, thank you so much. I've been feeling a little discouraged lately because people have been really mean to me, and I didn't think I'd be able to become a firefighter. Well, you sure have the smarts for it. I'll tell you that right now. I think that you could be a really valuable asset. Wow, thank you so much. Yeah, could you say a few words to the class? Maybe about why you want to do what you're doing? Uh, yeah, sure. Ever since I was a little kid, I wanted to help people. And I just wanted to find the courage, take care of everyone in the town, and be the best firefighter in the entire world. Boo! Would you just shut up already, man? Well, hey, look, man. I got the number one grade in the class. And you should be inspired. We should all be inspired. We're trying to do something really hard. Yeah, as hard as counting the amount of pizzas you shove in your face a day. What does that matter, Brett? Why do you care? It doesn't affect you at all. Yeah, well, you might be smart, but you're too fat to save anyone in real life. That's not true. My body has nothing to do with this, okay? And I don't need your opinion about it. Shut up, fatty. Haven't you missed, like, your second lunch today? Ow, don't touch me! Yeah, whatever. See ya, loser. Man, this is so frustrating. I don't know why everybody's so mean to me all the time. I mean, I'm doing the best that I can, but I'm really tired of being out of shape and I'm tired of everybody making fun of me. I know I shouldn't think of what they say, but maybe they're right. Maybe I can't be a firefighter. I can't even finish the course. It's not good. Maybe I should just give up, just like everyone else wants me to. Did I just hear someone say give up? Yeah, I don't know. I'm just getting really discouraged about training for the fire exam. I mean, I'm doing really good on the test, but I can't pass the physical. Everyone keeps making fun of me and calling me fat and worthless, and I'm not. I'm, I'm a person. Well, take it from me, a veteran firefighter. I went through the same exact thing you did, all right, kid? And let me tell you, anything is possible. You just got to put your mind and enough work into it. Yeah, I guess. Maybe you're right. Maybe it's time for me to make a change. Yeah, that's the spirit. I mean, look at me. I'm kind of on the heftier side myself. Wow, that's awesome. I mean, if you can do it, then I can probably do it too. And honestly, I feel like I kind of want to lose some weight. Not because of what other people are saying, but because I want to feel healthy and I want to feel confident again. I believe in you, kid. Good luck. Oh, man, all right, well... I said I was going to do this, so I have to. I owe it to myself. I really want to make a good positive change in my life. And I think that this is a great place to start. I mean, I don't have to be the most jacked or most slim person ever, but I feel like going to the gym will make me feel like I'm accomplishing something. And maybe that'll help me reach my goals. I don't know, though. People are lifting more weights than me and they're running faster than me. I guess I have to start somewhere, though. I just hope no one makes fun of me. All right, I'm going to try this and... oh. <sighs> Oh man, this is harder than I thought. Oh no. <laughs> Look at Tub Tub over here trying to work out. Listen, buddy, some of us just don't belong in the gym. Hey, I'm doing the best that I can, all right? All of us belong at the gym. We all belong everywhere. I have to start somewhere, right? Well, if this is where you're starting, then I suggest just giving up right now. Why do you care what I'm doing, man? Why don't you go do what you're doing and focus on yourself? You don't need to bother me. The only thing that you should be focusing on is how to get to the next fast food drive through Now, excuse me, I gotta go get jacked, bro. See ya. My gosh, that guy's such a jerk. Maybe he's right, though. Maybe the gym's not for me. I mean, all these other people are in better shape and they're doing like all this cool stuff and I'm just in here being a fat loser. Gosh, who am I even trying to fool? I'm just gonna go home. I can't deal with this anymore. People are just so mean. Oh my gosh, I'm so frustrated with how my life is going. I'm so unhappy. I don't know why everybody's so mean to me all the time. I just want to succeed and do all the things that I want to do, but I can't. Well, maybe I can. I guess maybe I should try harder. I don't know. I'm just so frustrated. I'm a person. I shouldn't be treated so poorly all the time. Help! Help! No, you leave me alone. Please, just leave me alone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me that credit card. <laughs> No, don't you dare take my Costco membership. Leave me alone. Get out of here, you robber. Thanks for the money, lady. You can keep your stupid membership. I only shop at chainplays.shop. My gosh, that guy's robbing her. Well, this is my time to shine. I can go and stop that thief. Hey, get back here. Hey. <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> Try to get me, fatty. 
Hey, stop it! Hey, get get back here! Hey, hey! You ain't never gonna catch me, later loser! Oh, oh, I don't feel good. Oh, I don't feel. Ah! Oh man, I don't feel so good. Oh, Ronald, hey, how's it going? Ah, uh, I'm doing okay. I don't feel that great. Yeah, well, you're lucky to be alive, man. Your health is not in good shape. Seriously? Oh, yeah. That wasn't good at all. Your charts are saying that you don't have enough vitamins or nutrients or anything. Oh, no. Well, what do I do? Well, you need to start making some serious changes in your life, man. You need to start eating healthy and take care of yourself. It's important. I know I do. Look. It's not about what your body looks like. It's about how your body functions on the inside. And you have to make sure that your insides are healthy. Yeah, you're right. I mean, I'm really, really scared, though, doctor. Yeah, well, you should be, dude. Oh, okay, I don't even know how to respond to that. Oh, whatever. I got some paperwork to finish up, okay? But maybe, like, uh, stop eating so much pizza and take some vitamins. No, this isn't good. What if I really have to give up being a firefighter now? All because I wasn't taking care of myself. Oh, this is so frustrating. And it's not fair. I don't want people to judge me. I, I shouldn't be judged. But also, at the same time, I, I need to make sure that I'm healthy. Roland, Roland, are you okay? No, I'm not okay. I'm super unhealthy. And, I, and I, I'm just tired of being like this. I'm tired of everyone making fun of me. Look, I know it's a slow start and it's hard to be motivated, but I'm willing to help you if, if you want to help yourself. I really think that you have what it takes to get healthy again. Well, I, I really appreciate it. I just want to achieve my goals and I want to feel confident again. All right, I'm feeling motivated again. You know, I, I don't really care what people think about me or how I look, but I do want to be healthy and I want to live up to my own expectations. That's all that matters is that I feel good about what I'm doing. And I feel good today. And I'm going to start from the bottom and I'm going to work my way up. That's all I can do. No way. Look at this whale that washed up on the shore. Gosh, would you just get away from me, Brett? All right, I'm over here trying to work out. I don't need you bothering me. Sorry, Roland. I didn't understand any of that. I don't speak whale. What are you doing at the gym anyway, huh? It's none of your business what I'm doing, okay? All that matters is that I know what I'm doing, and I don't need any of your nonsense. Why don't you go work out somewhere else? Um, because unlike you, I've been working out here almost every day of my life. Yeah, well, I don't care, okay? I work out here now. Yeah, whatever, dude. You're probably gonna fail. You're only gonna last like one week tops. I don't care what you think. I'm gonna prove you wrong. I'm gonna prove everyone wrong, and I'm gonna accomplish what I set out to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would like to see you try. Come on, Roland, you can do it. You can do it, man. Come on, Roland, faster, faster. Yeah, that's it, good job. Keep up the pace, way to go. Come on, Roland, you can do it. You can do it, man. I've got you, don't worry. Wow, thank you, you saved me. You're welcome, I was just doing my job. Good job, Roland, I'm proud of you. You put your all into this, and look at you now. You're gonna be the best firefighter in the entire academy. Well, everyone, I just wanna say, I'm so grateful for the award most improved and the best part about this award is that i improved myself i didn't need anybody else to tell me what i should look like or how i should feel i just decided to follow my own heart and that is what i feel the most accomplished for i lost 800 pounds can you believe it and now i passed the test and i'm gonna become a firefighter when everyone told me it was impossible and you know what i might not look as amazing as i once wanted to or what other people think but i feel good and that's all that matters is that i can look Look into the mirror and say, wow, I'm proud of myself, regardless of how I look or what I'm doing. I know I put in the effort and I feel great. And I know all of you are going to become the greatest firefighters in the world. Uh, 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 I'm joking. Uh, Here, let me help you. Uh, uh, oh, oh my gosh. Uh, Rowan, th th thank you so much. You're welcome. Are you okay? Yeah, I am now. You, you saved my life. Oh my God, you're, you're a hero. I'm just doing the right thing. That's all. Well, well, well. Oh, gosh, he's such a loser. And he's always going to be one. This is ridiculous. I was top of the class. I should have been getting this award. But you know what? I'm not ever going to let him be better than me. Not now, not ever. And I'll do whatever it takes to make sure of it. 
Can't believe it. Two weeks in being a firefighter. My dreams are coming true. This is amazing. And it's all because I had a positive mindset and just worked as hard as I possibly could. Everyone told me that this was impossible. And yeah, it's hard work, but this is beyond worth it. I mean, it's everything that I've ever dreamed. I'm helping people and giving back to my community. And that's the most important thing in the entire world. Oh my goodness, just shut up already, Roland. Shut up, Brett. I don't need this from you, okay? It's true. This is a great job. Yeah, one that you're never going to be capable of. You may look fit now, but I'll always remember you as that stupid, slow, fat, gross idiot you once were. I was still the same person then as I am now. My weight had nothing to do with it, okay? It was just my mindset. I just had to believe in myself. Yeah, well, you're the only one that believes in you. I'm not going to let you bother me anymore, Brett. I've accomplished more than I ever thought that I could. Oh, the alarm! It looks like the fire's downtown. Yeah, I know. I'm not stupid. Just shut up already. All right, let's go. Hey, wait up. Wait for me. Later, loser. Gosh. The fire's not that much further away. I can still get there. I just have to run as fast as I can. Gosh. Okay. Hello? Help me. Help me. Sir, sir. Quick, come with me. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You're a hero. Thank you for coming here so quickly. Of course, I'm just doing my job, sir. Are you kidding me? I can't believe you. I thought I got rid of you. You're never going to get rid of me, man. Whatever, man. Now you're just being a stupid show off. Brett, we have to talk, man. Yeah, well, maybe I don't want to talk. You purposely sabotaged me earlier. You left me behind. Yeah, and it's because you'll never be able to be better than me, all right? Maybe if you made it to the fire truck first, that would have never happened. It's not about being better than each other, okay? It's about working as a team and taking care of people. Yeah, well, to me, this is a competition, and I want to be the best. I want to be the best firefighter that this station has ever seen. Yeah, well, so do I, and I know I'm not going to be the best firefighter if I'm selfish. What if that poor old man died in there because you decided to leave me behind? Well, he didn't, stupid. Yeah, because I was there in time to save him. You can't be this selfish, Brett. Just shut up, all right? I'll never be able to work with you. That is enough out of both of your mouths. I am tired of this. Oh, Chief, sorry. Brett, I just can't believe that you would do something like this. Well, no, I, I, I didn't necessarily do that. Just, just let me explain. I don't need to hear anything, okay? You left a fellow firefighter behind, and you put other people in danger just because, what, you're jealous? You don't understand, Chief, all right? Roland only slows me down. Chief, you know that's not true. I know it's not true. Roland has been nothing but an excellent firefighter, and he has worked incredibly hard to get to where he is, and you keep trying to get in his way. I'm getting in his way? No, he's getting in my way. Look, I don't care what you have to say. Here's what's going to happen. You are getting demoted, Brett, okay? You are now the lowest firefighter here. That means no time off. You have to scrub the toilets. All the nonsense. And you, Roland. Uh, yeah? You've done such a great job. I want you to be squad leader. Are you serious? Really? Yep, that's right. You're an extension of me now. You're going to be management. I want you to run this crew well and make sure everyone stays safe. Wow, I, I don't know what to say. I mean, I accept. Thank you. You're welcome. I know that you're going to be the great hero that you want to be. <sighs> All right. I remember when I used to hate coming to the gym. Now I just look forward to it every day. It feels so good to have this routine. All right, well, I guess it's time to start. Well, 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 if it isn't squad leader Roland, you did not deserve that one bit, man. I should be squad leader. Well, obviously the chief didn't think so, okay? Well, I'm not gonna be falling around some fatty. I'm not fat anymore, Brett. I lost 800 pounds. I'm in the best shape of my life. I'm in better shape than you. Yeah, keep telling yourself that. Why do you think you get to just have stuff because you want it? Because I earned it. I put in the work. All you did was steal my job. You didn't put in enough work. That's the problem. And you put other people in danger because your own ego stood in your way. That's not my fault. That's yours, man. You should look in the mirror and reflect a little. At least when I look in the mirror, I'm not looking back at a stupid fat idiot. I'm not a fat idiot, okay? And I'm really getting tired of you talking to me like this. I'm supposed to be your superior now. I'm your boss. Yeah, well, guess what? I'm never going to follow your lead, Roland. Never. Well, you have no choice. You need to respect me, okay? I am the squad leader now, and you're going to do what I say. You know what? Whatever. I'm out of here. Oh, my gosh. I'm so tired of having to clean my restaurant all the time. I got all this grease and hot oil and all this annoying stuff. What am I supposed to do with it? Well, I guess I'm just going to light it on fire. Why not, right? Here goes nothing, man. <laughs> wow, that was wild. 
killed. Hey, did you guys hear that? It sounded like an explosion. Yeah, 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 I did hear that. Well, let's go check it out. Well, John, we can't just rush into things, okay? We have to think clearly. Yeah, think things clearly. That's exactly what you're known for. This isn't the time for it, Brett. People could be in danger. Wow, it looks like everything's burning. Look, John, you go down to the left over there. I'm gonna take the middle. And Brett, why don't you follow behind me? And then we can all try to get this stuff done together. You really think I'm gonna be working behind you? Of course not. I'm going this way. Brett, come on. That's not the smartest way to do this. We have to have a strategy. Yeah, Brett, you're being really stupid right now. Let's work together. Ew, I don't need to work together, all right? I'm gonna do this all by myself because I can. You can't. And there's people's lives in danger. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I'm not even listening to you anymore. I'm leaving. Gosh, he's so frustrating. Well, hopefully he's safe. Come on, we got work to do. Whoa! These fires ever gonna go out? Help! H help me! Oh, gosh, this is the building Brett was supposed to put out. Brett! Brett! Oh, help me! Help me! Uh, Roland! Come on, let's go! Gosh, are you okay? Oh, man. I don't know if I was going to be able to make it out of that one. This is why I told you you should have stuck with me. That was way too much fire for one person to try to put out. Yeah, well, shut up. Uh, I, I mean, uh, thank you. You really just saved my life. I'd save anyone's life. Even me? Like, uh, I thought you hated me. I don't hate you. You're the one that hates me. You've never believed in me. You've always made fun of my weight and called me fat and ugly and stupid. I don't understand why you hate me so much. Yeah, well, uh, I guess I was wrong, all right? And I guess I do have a couple things I should pick up from you. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm glad that you can admit that. I guess I'm just jealous of you, man. Uh, you and your skills, all right? I really don't know what to say. Well, jealous is a stupid thing to be. All I'm asking is that we work together as a team and you stop judging people for the way that they look and the way that they do things. Yeah, you're right. From now on, uh, I'm a team player. We're all different. That's what makes the world so beautiful. Some people are blessed with being healthy and happy, but that wasn't the case for Harold. Harold was depressed, and people in his family teased him about his weight. But it's not about what's on the outside, it's about what it is on the inside. But Harold was unhappy with himself, and he decided to make a positive change. This is Harold's 600 pound life. everybody. I'm kind of tired. I could use a snack. Mm, what's in here? Oh, look who it is. Little hungry Harold looking for food. Ugh, God, will you ever stop eating? Mom, I'm really hungry. You guys refuse to give me lunch money. I haven't eaten all day. Well, you don't need to eat. You weigh enough for like three people. Now, come on, knock it off. You don't need a snack right now. Mom, I need to eat. Just because I'm heavy doesn't mean I can't eat. You need food to live. You're such an embarrassment, Harold. You're just so big and fat. You look nothing like us and it's gross. Ugh, I can't stand you. But mom, I'm just a kid. It's not my fault, please. I don't care, Harold. You need to knock it off. Well, will you guys at least let me eat dinner? Yeah, but it's just a salad for you, big boy. Man, you're so mean. I'm, uh, I'm just gonna go to my room. <laughs> it's not fair. It's not fair. Harold, what's wrong? Oh, hi, Dad. Nothing. I'm just upset is all. Why are you crying? What's bothering you? It's Mom. All I wanted was a snack. I haven't had food all day. I'm so hungry. And then Mom said I was stupid and fat and she didn't want me to eat any snacks. Well, look, your mother's right, Harold. Look at you. You're, you're like a balloon. But, Dad, this is me. I'm your son. I'm more than just my weight. Can't you see that? Harold, nobody else thinks that, okay? You look disgusting. Why does everybody hate me? Stop feeling sorry for yourself, Harold, okay? It's your fault you're like this. It's not my fault, okay? I've been heavy since I was born. 
Harold, I've had enough of this. You need to go outside and get some exercise. You're not going to sit around here all day crying like this. Dad, please, I don't want to. I don't care, Harold. Go outside. Oh, man. This is so messed up. My parents are awful. I can't believe this. I just want to be happy. I'm not going to let people do this to me anymore, though. Everyone should love me for who I am, not for who they want me to be. No one's going to define my self-worth anymore. I'm not going to let this happen. I'm going to do what I want to do and whatever makes me happy because that's what's important in this life. Harold! What now, Dad? Don't talk to me like that, Harold. I don't want to see you sitting around over here. Go for a walk or something. Get out of here. Whatever, Dad. Just leave me alone. Well, class, today we have a special guest speaker, a pro football player. You guys might know him, Rocco Valentine. Hey, guys, how's everything going? So I got a question for you guys. Who here likes football? I love football. My dream is to someday be a pro football player. Oh, fat chance, fatty. Leave me alone, Dominic. You're so mean. Huh, well, you're the one that thinks you can be a football player. You can barely even tie your shoes. That's so messed up, all right? I can be a football player if I want to. Huh, whatever, Chubbs. Hey, you. Why don't you leave him alone, all right? Stop calling him fat. Well, this dude thinks he's gonna be a football player? Come on, man. You know what, kid? I used to be fat. And look at me now. I'm the star quarterback. So look at me in the face and call me fat. Uh, uh... Listen, you can do anything you want, just as long as you put in the hard work and determination and you believe in yourself. And you have to make sure that you do it for yourself as well and nobody else. Wow. Really? You think I could do it? Yeah, man, you can do anything you set your mind to, and you gotta follow your dreams. Look what happened to me. I followed my dreams, and here I am. Mr. Valentine! Mr. Valentine, wait! Oh, hey kid, what's up? I just really wanted to say thank you for sticking up for me in there. People have been really, really mean to me lately. No problem, man. That kid was bogus. I hate bullies. Yeah, I don't like him either. But what you said in there, you said that I could be a football player. I mean, I know that I'm heavy, but I really want to do it. Do you really think that if I worked hard and I tried, I could do that? I could follow my dreams and be like you someday? <laughs> Absolutely, man. To be honest, I'm looking at you right now. I was probably twice your size when I was your age. Really? Everybody always makes me feel really bad for it. And it makes me not confident. I'm afraid to try. And that's your problem, kid. You are afraid to try. You can't be afraid. Because what's the worst that could happen? You could try, and maybe it'll work out. Yeah, that's true. Plus, people are already mean to me. It's not like you can get any worse. Just keep your head up high, put in the hard work, and make sure once again you're doing it for yourself. Because that's the only thing that matters. Thanks, Mr. Valentine. I will. And maybe someday I'll be signing an autograph for you when I'm a pro football player. Haha, <laughs> man, that's an awesome idea. I can't wait for that day. Now go get to work. Oh, man, what a great day. This is so awesome. Why are you so happy? What's going on with you? Dad, today, I met Rocco Valentine. Whoa, really? He's one of my favorite players. I know, mine too. And Dad, guess what? What's that, son? I'm gonna grow up and be a pro football player. <laughs> okay, okay, I know that you're excited, but, you know, let's not get your hopes up here. What do you mean, Dad? Rocco Valentine said that I could be a pro football player. He was just being nice, Harold. I mean, look at you. You're not in any shape to go play football. I don't even think you could make the high school team. Dad, I'm gonna make that team. I'm telling you right now, I'm gonna work hard, just like Rocco told me, and I am gonna make that team, and I'm gonna be great at football. 
I don't know, Harold. All I see you do is sit around all day. You get nothing done. You don't do anything productive. Dad, I do a lot of stuff. I'm only home after school, and I do my homework, and then I go to bed. What are you talking about? You're not going to be a pro football player, Harold, okay? Just stop it. Stop with your stupid dreams. You know what, Dad? No. I'm going to show you, okay? I'm going to be a football player someday. And you know what? When I am, you can't come to any of my games. All right. Don't worry, Harold. It's your first time at the gym. You're not going to be the best at it, but all you got to do is try. All right, let's go. Haha, oh, look who's here. Big old fatty. Leave me alone, okay? I'm just here to work out. Huh, oh, what are you going to work out, man? Looks like you can barely walk to the bench. You know what? Why does it matter to you what I look like and what I'm doing? It's none of your business anyway. Oh, fatty turning into crybaby. Crybaby fatty. <laughs> not turning into a crybaby. You know what, man? You're not worth my time. You're a really bad person. You know that? At least I don't look like a giant whale walking around. <laughs> you know what? I don't care what you think about me. I wouldn't want to hang out with someone like you anyway. You're the loser. You're the one who's mean and horrible. And your life is never going to be great because all you do is put other people down. Huh, where's this coming from, Harold? All of a sudden, you stand up for yourself? That's right, I've had enough, okay? I'm gonna join the football team. And when I do, you're gonna be crying because you're not gonna be able to play anymore because I'm gonna be better than you. Huh, we'll see about that, Harold. Yeah, we'll see. Harold did show them. He worked hard. He lifted weights. He ran miles and miles. He didn't let anyone distract him or put him down. He was determined to make that football team. And soon the weight fell off and he transformed in the person that he wanted to be. Oh man, today's the day. Today's the day I find out if I make the team or not. You know what, win or lose, it doesn't matter. I set a goal and I stuck to it. And I'm no longer going to let anybody ever affect me with their mean words again. Oh, all right, I got to go find Coach Peterson. Coach! Harold, there he is, the man of the hour. Good to see you, kid. It's great to see you too, Coach Peterson. Um, did the results come back in yet? Have you made your decision for the team? You know what, Harold? I thought about it for a couple days, and uh, I decided... You have to be on the team. Wait, really? I get to be on the team? No way! Yeah, way. Actually, we wouldn't have it any other way. You were awesome on the field, and you were fantastic going through your drills and all that stuff. So, I got your uniform already, and it's waiting in the locker room for you. My gosh, I can't wait. This is a dream come true. You know what, Harold? You earned it. You worked really hard, didn't let anybody get to you, and most importantly, you showed good moral values, and you're a great team member. You're the kind of guy I want on this team. Thanks, Coach. I won't let you down. Man, I'm so hungry. Uh, I guess I'll have four burgers, two large fries, two large sodas. All right, uh, I gotta wait for my food now. Hey, yo, Henry, look at that, it's Carter. Ugh, my gosh, Carter's so fat and gross. Carter, you're like a whale. You're a whale in the burger joint. Look at him, he ordered so much food. Hey, Could hey. Did you even get any fatter, Carter? Guys. Really? Guys, stop it. I'm just hungry, okay? It's a normal order, plus like an extra burger for my dad. It's not a big deal. Oh my gosh, Henry. He's so, he's so fat now. He was fat in school, and he's even fatter. You're out here breaking records, Carter. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna break the floor too if he keeps walking. He's so heavy. What are you, like 700 pounds, 800 pounds? Oh, <laughs> definitely more than 700. 700 would be light for Carter. It's none of your business, guys. Why don't you just shut up? 
Come on, Henry, we better get out of here before we get squished under all of Carter's rolls. Yeah, ew, enjoy your cheeseburgers there, Carter. I hope you have like 400 of them, you fat, fat man. Hey, Dad, here's the food I got you. Hey, Carter, what's going on? Looks like something's up. Ugh, I don't know, man. It's just, remember those guys from high school that used to pick on me all the time? Well, I ran into them, and, and they were still jerks. Like, after all these years, they started making fun of me, and it was like I was that little kid again. Look here, buddy. There's always going to be people out there that make fun of us. People that try to take us down. But you got to stay focused on what's ahead of you. Do your best to just ignore them. I know, but it's hard, man. They just kept calling me fat over and over again and laughing. And it just, like, ugh, it just put me back in high school when those kids used to bully me all the time. And, like, I don't know. It just made me feel awful about myself. Like, maybe they're right. Maybe I am too fat. I remember how difficult it was back in high school. Look, how about we do this, Carter? Let's get together and we can get some sort of daily workout program. And we can focus on eating the right foods. And then at least you'll know you're doing the things in life that are going to be healthy for you. I know, but it's just so hard to give up everything that I like, you know? I like eating cheeseburgers every day, and I don't really feel like running. I'm tired all the time. Well, if we just take it one small step at a time, I'm sure that we can figure something out long term, Carter. Oh, I appreciate the help, Dad, but like, I don't know. I'm just too bummed out. I, I don't think you really understand what's going on, and I'm just going to go like chill out for a little while, okay? Uh, enjoy your burger. I gotta go buy some new pants. These ones don't fit anymore. Oh man, I can't find my size anywhere. Oh look, it's Tara. I had a crush on her back in school. Uh, hey, hey Tara. Oh, hi Carter. Oh, sorry. <laughs> You're just a lot bigger than I remember. Yeah, I know. It's It's been a rough couple of years, but you you look beautiful still. Oh, thanks, I know. <laughs> what what are you up to? What have you been eating? Uh, I don't know. Just stuff here and there. Uh, are, are you dating anyone? No, not dating anyone. What about you? No, I'm, I'm not. Uh, actually... That's weird, but I always had a crush on you in high school and stuff. Do you, do you think you'd want to go out with me? Oh, sorry. Uh, my schedule's really busy. Are you sure? I'm, like, really flexible. I, I'd be down for whatever. Look, Carter, I, I don't want to be mean, but, like, I'm not attracted to you, and I really don't want to go out with you. You're just, you're kind of a whale. <laughs> oh, jeez, that, that was harsh. Oh, man. Man, I hate getting a physical. I'm really nervous about these test results. Hope they come in all right. Carter, are you are you ready? I've got the results here. Yeah, what's up? How am I doing? Am I healthy? Well, not exactly. Uh, according to the results, Carter, your blood pressure is through the roof, and and on top of that, your cholesterol is is insanely high. So what does that mean? Honestly, it means you've got to lose some weight. Or else things could get really bad. You could you could get sick or or even worse, you could die. No, come on, please. I don't want to. I, I like eating my cheeseburgers every day and I like just hanging out. I'm tired all the time, doctor. It's really tough. Look, Carter, we, you, 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 you can't just use this as an excuse to, to let your health go down the drain. Let me tell you something. I used to be pretty overweight myself and it wasn't until one of my buddies came to me and shared with me some great tips and routines that I could go through that I was able to get in shape. And if I stuck to it with the help and support of some of my close friends, I was actually able to lose a bunch of weight and be the healthy version of myself that I am today. And on top of that, I've got more energy than I ever had before, Carter. Wow, really? Well, all right, well, I don't wanna die. So uh, I guess I have no choice but to start to make a change. I think that's a great option. And also, I'm always here for you. I'm here to help you out, and I can give you any tips that you need. Thanks, Doc. I really appreciate it. Hey, 
Hey, Carter! Hey, how's it going? Yeah, it's going all right, Leo. You want the usual? No, you know what? Today, I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna do a grilled chicken salad. Whoa, 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 wait, are you sure? I mean, usually you get the three cheeseburgers with chili and cheese on them. No, I have to change my diet. I don't think eating that stuff every day is good. Oh, I'm so happy for you. I wish you luck. Oh, thanks for the support. I'm really nervous. What if people make fun of me when I go into the gym? I'm here to help myself. I gotta go in. Hey, 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 what's up, little guy? Uh, no, nothing. Uh, this is my first time at the gym, and uh, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't be here. Maybe I should go. First times are the best times. You ready to get swolled up, little guy? Yeah, I mean, I guess I kind of am swole. I just, I need to lose a lot of weight. Losing weight, building muscles, these are my specialty. We'll get you signed up straight away, and I'll be your personal trainer just myself. Wait, seriously? You'd really help me achieve my goals? Absolutely. That's what we do here at this gym. We look out for each other. Whatever your goals are, they're my goals too, buddy. Wow, man. Thank you so much. I'm excited. Man, I'm excited to go to the gym today. I just can't. Oh, Jack, look who it is. Oh, Henry, look at that fat kid Carter. Guys, stop it, okay? How did you even fit through the door, you fatty? Yeah, you shouldn't be in the gym. The burger shop's down the street. Well, I'm coming here to lose weight. Lose weight? <laughs> Henry, listen to this kid. Lose weight? You could never lose a pound, Carter. You're going to be fat for the rest of your life, weighing everybody down. It's not true. I've been working out for two weeks, and I've already lost 10 pounds. No matter how much weight you lose, you're still going to be a fatty. Yeah, Carter, you might as well give up now. No way you could ever get thinner. 10 pounds, pure luck. Go get a burger. No. Guys, I'm not going to let you talk to me like this. I'm not a little kid anymore. All right? I'm an adult, and I'm making a decision for me. I'm making a positive change. Positive change? Let's go somewhere else. Change up our gym membership. Somewhere fatties aren't allowed. Yeah, no fatties where we're going. See you later, gross man. <sighs> Whatever. Wow, man, I gotta get some new pants. I lost some weight. Man, this is crazy. I'm gonna have to buy a new wardrobe like every couple of weeks. I'm not sure what I should get. No, maybe this whole idea of losing weight is stupid. I mean, this is all so difficult. If you ask me, I think you should go with a darker pair. Oh, hey, hey, I recognize you from the spin class. Your name's Holly, right? Yeah, and you're Carter. <laughs> you look like you could use a little help. How's it going? I definitely do. I don't know. I'm not used to buying normal clothes and trying to lose weight and get healthy and stuff, but <sighs> it's so hard, you know? Yeah, it's super hard. But hey, you're doing an awesome job. Look at you. You look fabulous. Oh, thank you very much. I've been trying really hard. Well, hey, if you ever need a workout, buddy, I love working out. I'd be so happy to help. Yeah, that would be great. Um, any chance you're good at uh, design? Because I also need help finding clothes. This is really embarrassing for me. I've, I've never had to actually shop like this before. Oh my gosh! Well, I love shopping, so you're in luck. Let me help you out. Let's go over here. I think they have a shirt that would look really cute on you. Alright, Doctor, so what's the deal? How am I doing? Well, actually, Carter, things are fantastic. I just got your results back, and of course, I can see you've lost a ton of weight. But on top of that, all of your metric markers are in great spots. You're in fantastic health. My gosh, I can't believe it. This is awesome. I've been working really, really hard. I've been eating healthy, I've been working out, and I've been believing in myself. I think that maybe before I was depressed and I didn't realize it. That's all such good news. And, 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 and you don't have to worry anymore about any of the health risks that we talked about in the past. You're in great shape. And I'm so proud of you for going over and doing all of this stuff, Carter, because 
This isn't easy to make the changes that you've made. I know, it's been really hard, but honestly, I feel a lot better now. I feel like I have more energy. I'm just like, I don't know. Who would have thought eating the right foods actually made you feel better? I mean, honestly, Carter, I think you might be in even better shape than I'm in. I should start taking pointers from you. <laughs> I appreciate that. Well, I owe it all to my trainer down at the gym. I can give you his number if you want. I mean, the dude's awesome. I think I might just have to do that, Carter. Go ahead and write it down on your way out. Awesome. Thanks, Doc. I appreciate it. All right, I got to buy some food for this week. Uh, I got a meal prep. Uh, hey, Carter. Oh, hey, Tara. Wow, you look really good. Oh, what's going on? Oh, uh, thanks so much. I, I lost a bunch of weight. I've been working out a lot. Yeah, last time I saw you, you were like four of you put together. You look fantastic. Well, thanks. It was nice to see you. I kind of have to get back to shopping. I got a lot of stuff to do. Well, wait a minute. Uh, remember when you had a crush on me? I'm still single. Do you want to go out with me? Well, no, I don't want to go out with you. You were so rude to me last time. Uh, you know, just because I lost weight doesn't mean I'm a different person. You didn't like me then. Why would you like me now? Uh, well, I don't know. Maybe because you look better now than you did then? Please, come on. I'm cute and you're really cute now. We'd make like the best couple. No, you wouldn't give me a chance, okay? I'm not gonna go out with you. I don't want to go out with someone who judges people like that. I really liked you and that's how you treat me? Come on. Oh, whatever. You're just a fatty anyway. I'm leaving. Yeah, well, good luck. Man, I had a great time in this class today. I know, me too. This is like my new favorite workout class. I'm so glad you came with me. Yeah, I am too. I really appreciate it. And honestly, thank you so much for being nice to me. I mean, even when I was super overweight and unhealthy, you, you still treated me right. Well, of course. You're a really sweet person, Carter. And it doesn't matter how you look on the outside. It's the inside that matters. Yeah, well, people were really mean to me. I mean, like, really, really mean to me. And you weren't, so I, I appreciate that. Well, if they were mean to you, then clearly they weren't meant to be your friends. I mean, you're awesome to hang out with, fat or not. Well, I really appreciate that. And I look forward to continuing to hang out with you. Yeah, me too. I really like you, Carter. I really like you too. And I was wondering, if you're not busy tonight, you want to grab dinner? Oh my gosh, I thought you'd never ask. <laughs>